Hello everyone. We are going to start today about the salt, and this is a chapter called acid, bases, and salt, in which we have already covered about acid, bases, and today we will cover the salt. Okay. So what are salt basically? That we have to understand. Okay. It is the salt is a general term used for the substances that are formed when acid and base <coughs> react with each other. Okay. So that reaction is called as neutralization reaction. So I am just giving you brief introduction about how salts are formed. How salts are formed. So I am just moving away from the screen a little. Okay. See, salts of the substance. Okay. Suppose I am giving you first example, and then we will write the definition. Suppose I am taking acid, and acid I am taking HCl. it is hcl it is hydrochloric acid beta when we react that yes acid we are reacting with base so i am taking naoh sodium sodium, sodium hydroxide. hydroxide it is a base so don't talk in between okay see acid and base when they react see this is sodium and here we have cl chlorine so they will react to form nacl and a cl it is sodium chloride and which is nothing but the salt the common salt yes and that h and oh they will react to form water h2 h2 okay so see here when acid reacts with base they form salt and water so this reaction is called yes, as beta neutralization reaction this reaction is called as neutralization reaction Sir, even answer heat also produces something. Neutralization reaction. Okay, so now on that basis, I am going to write the definition for that. I am just going to write the definition for salts. Okay, see, salts are the compound or the compound which are formed by which are formed by neutralization reaction neutralization reaction between acid and base between acid and base okay the compound which are formed by neutralization reaction between acid and base along with water along with water are called as salts are called as salts okay so here we have example so i am just writing that you know example in the form of words so acid plus base equals to salt plus water so this is the basic reaction for and this is called as neutralization reaction okay so i want everyone have to take a screenshot then we are going to move further again seven down now we are going to continue with the notes okay see salt is a general term used for the substances that are formed when acid and base reacts with each other this reaction is called as neutralization reaction so most of the time person is being asked what is neutralization reaction so you must say or you must write the reaction in which so like acid reacts with base to form salt and water is called as neutralization reaction what is neutralization reaction when acid reacts with base to form salt and water is called as neutralization reaction okay the reaction between vinegar okay vinegar is what it is carboxylic acid so i am writing here ch3 cooh is the vinegar and it is present in water aqueous aqueous means the solution of acetic acid in water is called as vinegar 
एंड बेकिंग सोडा बेकिंग सोडा मीन सोडियम बाई कार्बोनेट इट इज एन ए एच सी ओ थ्री इट इज सोडियम बाई कार्बोनेट इट कॉल्ड एज बेकिंग सोडा ओके इज अ न्यूट्रलाइजेशन रिएक्शन विनेगर एज ऑलरेडी नोन नो कंटेंट एज एसिड एंड बेकिंग सोडा कंटेन द बेस ओके दैट मीन्स दिस रिएक्शन इज टेकिंग प्लेस बिटवीन एसिड एंड बेस okay so now i'm just going to make you understand the same reaction wait a second yeah here i'm writing the reaction so here we have that uh, carboxylic acid so i'm writing here it is ch3 cooh it is vinegar plus baking soda it is nah co3 it is sodium bicarbonate it is also called as baking soda okay now what will be the product see just do remember always always do remember when we have carbonate in reactant so our one product is fixed and which is which is carbon dioxide gas if that co3 group present in a reactant then our one product is conformed and which is the carbon dioxide see here that h and here one oxygen and one hydrogen will form oh oh so that h and that oh is going to react to form water so i'm writing here water and what is remaining here it is ch3 coo and na okay it is going to react with that part so it is sodium acetate okay this is sodium acetate is the salt sodium acetate is the salt this is water water and it is carbon dioxide carbon dioxide so in this reaction vinegar this is vinegar vinegar this is baking soda baking soda okay which is again called as sodium bicarbonate i am writing here sodium bicarbonate sodium by carbonate okay sodium by carbonate is what it is baking soda so when vinegar reacts with baking soda gives salt and what is the name of that salt sodium acetate sodium acetate then water and carbon dioxide gas carbon dioxide gas is formed so this is all about the given reaction so it is given only in like word form and we have gone through with word form also as well as the chemical formula for the reaction okay so here we have when vinegar reacts with baking soda okay the salt is formed yes salt is formed and which is sodium acetate water and carbon dioxide gas are produced see here we have water and carbon dioxide is produced also produced during the reaction so carbon dioxide along with water is also produced along with salt similarly common table salt common set table salt means what sodium chloride sodium chloride and which formula is NaCl. Its formula is NaCl. Formed by the reaction of hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide. We already gone through that reaction. So hydrochloric acid is what? It is HCl. Sodium hydroxide is what? It is NaOH. Okay. Then they will form sodium chloride, which is NaCl, along with water. Water is what? It is H2. So this is the reaction. so here we have like reaction in word form as well as in chemical equation form okay salt can be acidic basic or neutral it depends on what kind of substance we are using in order to form the salt okay so again that we are going to discuss like uh, away from the screen so wait a second yeah now we are going to understand types of salts okay types of salt 
so salts are again divided into two three category salts are divided into three category what are these three category i am writing over here number 1 we have acidic salt acidic salt number 2 we have basic salt and number 3 we have neutral salt neutral salt okay now we have to understand how they usually form okay so first i am going to make you understand about the acidic salt okay see uh, we have already gone through that when acid reacts with base to form salt and water so we are not discussing here about the water we are discussing about the salt okay suppose that acid is very strong and base is very weak okay so when strong acid strong acid reacts with weak base weak base they form acidic salt they form salt but it is acidic in nature acidic salt okay and water okay so i'm just going to write define over here when strong acid strong acid reacts with weak base use use acidic salt okay acidic salt now we are going to discuss about the basic salt okay again very simple base will be the strong and acid will be the weak so i'm writing here weak acid when weak acid reacts with strong base strong base they form like basic salt basic salt and water is the complementary okay now i'm going to write definition when when weak acid reacts with reacts with strong base strong base gives basic salt use basic salt very important now last but not the least we are going to discuss about the neutral salt so neutral salt for that we are condition like when strong acid strong acid plus strong base or or weak acid weak acid plus weak base weak base okay they gives neutral salt neutral salt very important again i am just going to define here when uh oh when strong acid strong acid reacts with strong base or weak acid reacts with reacts with weak base use 
न्यूट्रल सॉल्ट न्यूट्रल सॉल्ट सो दिस इज द फ्लो चार्ट फॉर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ एसिड वन इज कॉल्ड थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ सॉल्ट बेटा नॉट एसिड थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ सॉल्ट वन इज कॉल्ड एसिडिक सॉल्ट अदर इज कॉल्ड बेसिक सॉल्ट एंड लास्ट बट नॉट द लीज इज द न्यूट्रल सॉल्ट ओके सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ सॉल्ट ओके नाउ आई वॉन्ट यू हैव टू टेक अ स्क्रीन शॉट फॉर दैट फर्स्ट 